Welcome to Review Detective guys. In today's video, I'll give you my first thoughts on Facebook's Oculus Quest 2. I'll show you if it's easy to use, what kinds of games you can play, and if it's worth the $300 price tag. To start off, the unboxing experience is quite premium, and that's actually what stands out when first handling the device. Everything feels premium, from the adjustable straps on the VR headset to the smallest details on the controllers. On that subject, the controllers fit nicely in your hands, and the different buttons and triggers offer great tactile feedback similar quality to a PS4 or Xbox controller. They also have an adjustable wrist strap so you don't end up dropping the controller while playing. Moving on to the headset itself, the padding is very soft and you'll be able to play comfortably until the battery dies out which is where I was somewhat disappointed. In fact, battery life will vary depending on what you're doing with the headset but my average was between 2 to 3 hours. I was equally disappointed with the sound coming out of the two speakers located on the side of the device. The sound quality is okay but definitely not loud enough in my opinion for that matter, you'll be able to adjust the volume using the physical buttons, but you'll definitely want to wear a pair of headphones to be fully immersed inside your game. Now, on the upside, the lenses are adjustable to get a crystal clear image and the weight of the whole device is light enough to not be uncomfortable while playing. You'll also notice a couple of small cameras around the device, which lets you see a black and white feed of your surroundings, which I found kind of cool. To start playing, there are two ways you can use the device, either seated or standing, but in both cases, you'll need to first select the floor level and a surrounding safe zone, making sure you don't bump into anything while playing. When first starting out, there is a training tutorial which I found quite useful at learning what everything does, and you'll quickly get the hang of it, as you can see here. To pick up an object, squeeze and hold the grip button with your middle finger. Release the grip button to drop it. Your virtual hands can do just about anything. Go ahead, play with some of these items. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Here's a few more to try. Once you're ready, you can watch VR content on YouTube, Netflix, and other apps, or you can download the game of your choice and start playing. Here you'll see some gameplay of Onward, which I find makes a great use of all that the Oculus Quest 2 has to offer, like shooting, wielding a knife, throwing grenades, and so on. Now hopefully you notice how quick and precise the device is at registering your movements like crouching or aiming a gun. One thing that I did find hard to get used to was moving my avatar while I was being stationary which gave me a bad case of motion sickness. But after a couple of games, it gets progressively better and you won't feel the effect as much. Additionally, with games where you mostly stay stationary like boxing, you'll experience minimal to no motion sickness and it'll be a great workout. Something else worth mentioning is the ability to stream to your phone while playing so that your friends can see what you're seeing with minimal lag. So there you have it guys, this about covers my first thoughts on the Oculus Quest 2. It's definitely a nice little gaming device which can be a great party gadget to play with family and friends. The price point is slightly high considering the fact that you won't play on it as much as you play on your PlayStation or Xbox. But watching movies and videos is really immersive and this is where the Quest 2 really shines. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up, it greatly supports the channel and we hope to see you in the next one. Until then, thank you for watching and Review Detective, out.